Sample problem 3.2 looks at another conversion factor that we've learned in chapter 3, that being Avogadro's number. And so I'll talk a little bit more about that after we read the problem. The problem says, gallium is a key element in solar panels, calculators, and other light-sensitive electronic devices. How many gallium atoms are in 2.85 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of gallium? So again, the first step is to always write down what we know. I know that I have 2.85 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of gallium. And I want to know, so the no, I want to know the number of gallium atoms equals question mark. And I just mentioned Avogadro's number. Now Avogadro's number tells me that there's 6.022 times 10 to the 23 entities Per mole. So it relates those two units there, entities and mole. Now, entities, entities is a very broad term. It can mean all kinds of things, okay? And a key step into understanding when to use Avogadro's number is if something's asking for the number of things. Notice this problem was asking for how many gallium atoms. So anytime I'm asking for the number of things, I'm going to use Avogadro's number. For instance, this tells me that there's 6.022 times 10 to the 23 gallium atoms in one mole of gallium atoms. If I were talking about calculators, this would say that there's 6.022 times 10 to the 23 calculators in one mole of calculators. So this entity is like I'm saying, it can, it's a very broad term. It can be used to mean almost anything. So I'm going to set up my T here my conversion T, and so I have moles in the top, so the moles of gallium need to go in the bottom, and Avogadro's number tells me that in one mole of gallium, there's 6.022 times 10 to the 23 gallium atoms, or entities, right? So I'm interested in gallium atoms, so that's why I wrote that up there. So let me get me a little more room to, to work here. So what is that equal to? Let me look at my units. I've got moles of gallium divided by moles of gallium. They're going to cancel out equal one, and I'm going to be left with what I'm interested in. So I've got 2.85 times 10 raised to the minus 3 times 6.022 times 10 raised to the 23. Oh, I've typed that in wrong. Hold on. Raised to the negative 3 times... 6.022 times 10 raised to the 23. There we go. And the answer here is 1.72 times 10 to the 21 gallium atoms. I'll put my box there.